makers, it's Charlotte with Makesy. Today I'm here with Esther, our in-house perfumer, and we are about to do something so fun. We're going to make a perfume! Yay! Woohoo! The first thing you need is a scale because you want to weigh everything out. Now, we are giving you a few fun uh, recipes with your kit. And the first, the, the fragrance we're gonna make is called Skinny Dipping. And this has, it's a fun fragrance. This is Sexy Vetiver Accord, Lavender Moss Accord, and Aromatic Aquatic Accord. So all of these accords are sold on makesy.com and they come in our perfumery kit. And these are gonna be the accords that we use today to make a custom perfume. I have my beaker on the scale. It's tear to zero. Uh, the first one I'm going to use is the Sexy Vetiver. And this is three parts. So I'm going to weigh out three parts. Esther is using a pipette to do this. So uh, these are our plastic pipettes. They're just a really easy way to transfer small amounts of liquids. So we are just making this small little perfume today. Obviously this process can be scaled to make a lot more perfume. This is probably the smallest amount of perfume you'll ever make. So uh, if you need to make more, you can follow the same process, just using more liquid, bigger containers. And right. uh, you may wanna use either um, funnels or just pour directly into one of our larger beakers if you're making more perfume than yes, this. Yes, it's whatever you, you feel comfortable with. I've so, done this a few times, so I'm just gonna go <laughs> right for it. <laughs> okay, so Esther will be the hands, I'll be the talking. So for the Sexy Vetiver Accord, she used three parts or three grams of the Sexy Vetiver Accord. Um, the next accord that she's using is our Lavender Moss Accord, and we're using four grams or four parts of our Lavender Moss Accord. And the Lavender Moss Accord, um, obviously it's got beautiful earthy lavender notes. This fragrance that we're making is very earthy. It's wet, it is grounded, it's unisex. It's great for men or women. Um, we called it skinny dipping because it reminded us of just like, you're out in nature and- Splashing around. You're splashing around <laughs> um, so this is a really sexy fun fragrance um, so yeah Esther is just using the scale and the pipettes to measure out the liquid um, and our yeah. next one is gonna be our aromatic aquatic accord so I added three parts of the sexy vetiver which the recipe calls for and four parts of the lavender moss and now we're adding the final which is the aromatic aquatic and that'll be only one part so when you're making a perfume, uh, your top heart and base accords will make up all different parts of your fragrance. They're your building blocks of your perfume. Um, sometimes you may use a lot of one accord and just one drop or a really small amount of another accord. Um, it's really up to you and your own creativity how much you use of each accord to create whatever that final perfume is that you want to make. Um, but these starter recipes are great practice for learning the process of making your perfume. And to get comfortable with weighing things out and smelling things. And uh, you don't even have to stick to one top, one heart, one base. You can actually use a couple of tops or a couple of bases. There really are no hard and fast rules. It's whatever makes you happy, whatever smells good to you. And these all work very well together, all the accords that we've curated for you. So now everything is in here. So now I'm going to take my stirring rod and I'm going to blend it so that the three accords are blended well so that we can then take this and make a perfume. Yay. So this is a glass beaker and a glass stirring stick. Both come in our perfumery kit. And these are super easy to reuse over and over again. So you can get like lifetime use out of these. Yes. Um, you simply just can clean them off with alcohol or with warm water and soap and use them again for your next creation. And trust me, you will have tons of creations because once you get started making your own perfumes, it's a really fun and addicting process. Very addicting. Because it's so creative and you can really express yourself through fragrance and through these creations that you yeah, make. Yeah, it's just like if you were a painter, you know, it's you're creating this beautiful work of art. Or if you're a musician and you're putting together chords to make a special sound, it's, it's very similar, it's an art. And this one would be a symphony if it was. <laughs> In music terms. Okay, so now this is blended well. Now we're gonna use 
um, of our fragrance or our cord mixture here and the other 70 percent of our perfume is going to be our perfumer's alcohol so when you're making a perfume um, there's all different percentages of fragrance load that you can use based on uh, if you're making an eau de toilette if you're making a fine fragrance whatever it a is cologne. that you're making yeah. there are different percentages but today we're actually using the maximum percentage for our cords which is 30 percent so when I say maximum, that's the maximum amount that is skin safe across all of our accords. Some of them are skin safe at higher amounts, higher, but yeah. to be safe, we suggest using no more than 30% of a fragrance load uh, for skin safety when you're making your own perfumes. Yeah, and that's that's a high-end perfume. Many high-end perfumes are at 30 or some are at 35, but people tend to stick in the 25 to 30% range. So we're going at the 30% range here, so I'm going to add three grams of oil into our beautiful little perfume and these glass bottles come with the perfumery kit they're perfect for testing because when you have created an accord uh, co combination that you really like the next step is to test them out in perfume so you can either test them out in alcohol using a spray bottle or you can test them out in our fractionated coconut oil mm -hmm. for a perfume oil as well just depending on personal preference or you can try both of them um, but testing them on your skin is the next step to ensure that you are totally in love with your creation and you like the way that it smells on skin once it has been diluted exactly now we're adding the alcohol portion of this mixture and i definitely want to get feedback on all these little mini formulas we're giving you yes so we're not going to stop making some this kit comes with, is it 10 yes. different formulas? Yes. So we've got Skinny Dipping, Girls Gone Wild, Field of Dreams, Floral Seduction, Forbidden Fruit. There's all sorts of different recipes in here. And these you can use as they are, or you can take them and you can add something else to it. Absolutely. So a lot of them have three to four different accords that make up the recipe. And then if you, love that as it is you can put it in alcohol or in oil and you can use the perfume or if you want to add a little bit of an ambery woody note to it mm -hmm. or if you want to add a little bit of a, a powdery aldehyde to it um it's really up to you as esther said you know this is about being creative and it's your work of art so you make it your very own and usually you have to mix it for a little bit because obviously oil is a little thicker than the alcohol and once you mix it it's It'll be ready, ready to, to go. <laughs> We're both this excited and we've smelled this many times before. So yes. we can imagine your excitement getting ready to do it. You ready for some? Lay it on me. I'm going to put some on too. Yes. Okay. So that is Ugh. so earthy and just sensual. It's very sexy. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> sexy. I can't lie. Um, don't watch. Don't let my kids watch this. <laughs> Um, so there you have it. You have created your own perfume and it's really as easy as just combining your cords to your liking and then putting it either into an alcohol or oil solution. And if you want the easiest way, you can follow this uh, recipe cards or you can just uh, combine them up to 10 grams and that will be a really easy way to make the math as simple as possible and you guys is just build right. up to 10 grams total right so that is how you make your perfume and write guys, everything down write yes. everything down that's very true write everything down we can't say that enough um thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks now go, go make, make it happen, happen.